Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Monday. Happy Monday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. I feel good. Like we had the Christmas this week. We had the Christmas. We had Christmas this weekend and it's like we had all day. So it was, you know, Saturday. I was like, what day was it? It was Saturday. So we had like mostly Saturday just to relax. We relaxed on Friday as well. So Sunday came along and it was like a relaxing day as well. I didn't do a lot of cleaning, which is like, look at, like I did dishes. Dishes because you need to eat. So dishes. But right now, if you look at my countertop, there's like sticky stuff on it and I didn't even wipe it off. I know. Disgusting. <laughs> it's okay. I worked on different projects. I kind of worked on, you know, like the new year comes and you want to like, all right, take all the Christmas decorations down and start cleaning your house, deep cleaning, organizing, going through that kind of thing. So Greg had set up my um, closet with my mirror in there. So I took yesterday, that's what I did is I cleaned out my closet. I went through it. <laughs> I am bad. Like my clothes come out of the jar. I'll hang them up inside out. I know, whatever. You take it off the hanger. It's just fast. Sometimes I'm in a hurry. So, you know, put them all the right way, hung them up, organized them as best I could and went through, threw out some things that were, you know, ruined or ripped or stained that kind of stuff and just went through and cleaned that and I'm like okay I feel good with that then I was like I need to keep going and I'm like you know what not too much just do a little bit so, you know just keep stretch it out a little bit that way so it, I'm like on this mode of like all right I need to do some like organizing and some cleaning so I thought I would kind of focus on probably this month we'll see how how much I can get done like working on different areas in my home that bring me like stress like what where, where what am i stressing out about like my kitchen it's like stuff full of stuff so what do i need to take out what do i need to reorganize to make things happen so i kind of did a lot of thinking yesterday a lot of thinking of this brain going on <laughs> got to sit and kind of plan a few things out i'm like all right so got some ideas for myself so that's what i focused on yesterday so today is our monday usually we do monday cleaning it's motivation guess what we're not going to do monday cleaning motivation at all no we're not going to do that today we are instead going to go clearance christmas shopping so usually I've been doing this for a while. Lauren and I used to go. It's been a while. It's been a while. So just going after, usually go the day after Christmas. That was yesterday. I didn't go shopping yesterday. So hopefully there's stuff, but go after Christmas shopping and see what kind of deals you can find for the clearance prices. So I kind of was going through like my paper and all my stuff. And I'm like, what are some Christmas staples that I do need that like broke this year or you know we'll buy again next year see if we can find them at a deal today so we are going to go head out in a little bit and hit stores i'm hoping to go to like hobby lobby i've never done a hobby lobby after christmas do they go 75 percent right away i don't know we're going to find out today and then big lots is a good place to go to walmart always a staple and then i would like to go to tj maxx i don't know if i'll have anything there but it's like we're going to go to a different town and tj maxx is in our town so i don't know but we're going to see what we're going to do but it's gonna be a good day just trying to go find some deals see what we can find and i'm gonna leave the house a mess i am <laughs> guess what it'll be here it'll be here when i get back i told the kids they're like do we get up and do monday chores i'm like you know what no you guys just enjoy relax when i get home we'll focus on doing some things so i've got the washer going there's laundry so you know people have clothes and stuff and the dishes have been done they're not put away but and the animals have been fed that's all we really need to do and there's food there's plenty of leftovers in the fridge so no need to make anything but we'll, we'll get on to that like later i'm not too worried about that at all today's just gonna be fun clearance christmas shopping so it was good i got up and i sat at my um desk over there and got to work a little bit read my bible and i was i was thinking about the new year and coming into things and sometimes we just get so lapsed in things like we get lapsed in like our house like i do i know i do that's why we have to weed out that's why we have to deep clean things because we get lapsed in our normal everyday routine right like i know my oven right now has got big giant stuff burned in the bottom of it. I was editing a video and I was like, ooh, that looks bad in the bottom. <laughs> because we get laps and we're like, eh, let's just leave that, it's okay. And then one day you gotta do some deep cleaning and get that done. And so I thought of that in our own spiritual lives as well. It's like how easy it is to get laps in what we do. When we know what God's word says, we know what God tells us about our lives and all the grace that he gives us, the forgiveness and all these things, what we have to do to kind of stir that up. So I was reading today in, it was 2 Timothy 6 and it was, it says, that is why I remind you to fan into flame the gracious gift of God, that inner fire, that special endowment. He wants us to fan that flame because you know why? Sometimes that flame gets like real weak. Do you ever have a candle that just burns down to the tiny little bit and it's like just barely flickering? He wants us to fan that flame to get it going, to get it going in our life so we get that confidence that wells up inside of us to take what he says in his word to truth. And do you know what it says in his word? It says that God has not given us a spirit 
of fear. Do you know that God has not given me a spirit of fear and he's not given you a spirit of fear, but God has given me power. Ooh, he's given us power, love, 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 even though I feel anger, and a sound mind. Do you know that God has not given you fear? He's not given you fear in your life. You're feeling anxious. You're feeling that fear. You're feeling that like you don't want to tackle the day. It feels overwhelming. Do you know that that's not from God? Because it says God has not given us this, but he has given us power. Power to do what? power to take authority, power to stand firm, power to bind and loose all these things in our life, to stand firm against the devil. The devil just wants to come against you and ruin your day today and ruin ultimately your life. So remember, he has given you power, love. He's given you love to forgive, love to give to others when they don't deserve it, and a sound mind. Anybody ever tell you you're crazy? Anybody ever tell you you can't think straight? Do you ever feel like foggy in your head and you just feel like you can't, like, I don't even know, you feel numb. Numb is a good word, right? ever feel numb in your mind? I felt numb in my mind. He has not given that to you. God has given you a sound mind, one that can think clearly, one that has gets wisdom from him that gives you the right words to say, the right actions to take. He gives that inside. So that is my encouragement for you today. Remember, we want to fan that flame inside of us to get going. Fan that flame. You got to do something in your kitchen today. You're looking at, you're looking around all those Christmas decorations and getting overwhelmed and not even knowing what to do. You're looking at these dishes over here. Let's pretend these are all dirty. It's so easy to look at these and go, oh, I don't even want to do these. I need to stop and go, you know, God has given me the ability to wash these dishes today. So I'm going to fan that flame, fan that flame inside of me. And I'm going to get up. I'm going to wash those dishes and put them away. I will eventually. <laughs> what has God given you to do? To fan that flame, to get up a little bit. Maybe make a phone call to a friend. Maybe fan that flame to get up and read some of his word. Maybe get up and fan that flame and do something in your home. Take care of yourself. Do something for others. I don't know. Whatever God is telling you to do, you need to fan that flame. He doesn't fan it for you. I know. That's the thing. God gives you the flame and it's our job to either make it burn real bright or just let it die down. We want it to burn really bright, right? You want that, that flame just to just illuminate everything around you and everything you do. But you gotta fan it. Remember that today. So, all right, we're gonna get out the door today. We're gonna leave this. We're gonna leave this popsicle stand behind. We're not even gonna clean it. We're not gonna do anything. Everybody be well taken care of. They're gonna absolutely love this morning. Waking up and playing with all their toys, doing nothing, enjoying some peace and quiet. It's gonna be a great day today. Some warm sunshine. We're gonna get out and go find some deals for after Christmas clearance shopping. All right, you guys ready? All right, let's go. First store, Hobby Lobby. They have mixing. They have like coffee mugs. Some of this clear stuff. Remember, I was using this for my little uh, potpourri things. I'll get one of those. Two of those. For aprons. We had some fringe tablecloths. They have these for eight dollars. So they'd be four, and then like another dollar off. Those are cute. Those are cute. They'd be like five bucks. All right, Hobby Lobby. Not a whole lot. I've never come here after Christmas, but got paper. I'll put that away. And then we got an apron. You can always use an apron. So well, let's go to the next door. All right. My total was $9. It was $5.10 for the apron and $3.40 for the two rolls of paper. Not bad. All right. Going to Big Lots. It says big Christmas clearance, clearance, clearance. Let's see if it's big. There's like one, what are they? 50% off? I think it's 50. So I could get a couple of these for next year for five. We'll do. We'll trust that. All right. I lied. This is 25%. Let me ask people. All right, houses are only $7.50. I don't find that as a deal just yet, so I think I'm gonna wait on that because I bet you I can find them a little bit cheaper. They're like a very small amount. Here's like their paper for 50. You should get how much is theirs? I think a dollar fifty. Hmm. I think I got a lot of that one. Not that much. I have some ribbons, but pretty much everything's kind of picked over. I mean, they just don't have, I saw these. I thought that was cute. Snow buddy, snow buddy bakes like grandma. That's cute. I mean, not a whole lot. These are cute. Those Santa ones, I guess. They have a lot of nice boxes. You just never know what kind of box you have until you get everything put up. So this is, it's, yeah, 50% off. I guess these would be half price. The wreaths and the bows. That's pretty. So that would be like $7.50. Welcome, that is cute. Some ornaments on here. Not a whole lot. Lights. I'm gonna get them here because you never know on lights. I'm gonna get these for half price. 
Okay, because they've been open, but they're not inside. So these are eight. I think these are eight dollars. Eight dollars. There should be four. It's pretty. It's nine dollars. Oops, not focus. It's cute little star, kind of broken there, but all hearts are home for the holidays. Cute pillows. Oh, there's the tables. It's a tree skirt. Wait, see, I got this one. Baking spirits, bright. That's cute. I'm gonna get that. That is gonna be how much? Six dollars. I will get that. It's cute, but all the letters are coming off. Don't get those. I need to get, I'm gonna get these two here because they'll probably be the same price at Walmart. All right here I paid six bucks for the snowman and then my big containers were 15 each, but that's okay, I needed those. And that's it, so. And the Christmas lights, Christmas lights were four dollars All right, let me put this in the car. Marshalls has anything. Okay, they have a 50% off section. I got some candles, like this smells yummy. I don't need any more candles, which cheerful tidings. Gift stickers, maybe 250. How many do you get? 140. We got some at home. All right, not too much here in Marshalls either. No, a lot of stuff just picked over. Like I said, we're just going through and seeing what stores have. So let's go ahead to Walmart, probably. I bet you Walmart's got it. I know they do. All right, we got Greg here. Oh, <laughs> Greg. <laughs> he let me run the stores. I just ran real quick. He's like, "You're already done," and I'm like, "Yeah." And he's like, "I planned on you being like an hour in Hobby Lobby." <laughs> I thought Hobby Lobby would be forever. <laughs> so did I, but I was like, "Nope, real quick, Clarence shopping, honey." Two things. So. Yeah, that was so good. I because I, I was up late last night, so mm -hmm. I got a little bit later start today, like eight eight o'clock, eight thirty, something like that. Yes. So uh, I was just getting my co my coffee in, and I started a devotional and stuff, and I figured I'd get through that at least. And then I'm like, let's go to the next store. I was like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Just get so out of here. I've never cleared shop at any stores but Walmart. So now I know. Okay, like yeah. There's, yeah. Is but, it worth it? No. Yeah. And this is, this is, I wanted to do Walmart because last year we got a couple of good things. Yeah, we got our, like some big bigger items. Yeah, we got our, like so cheap, so like cheap. our ping pong ping, table yeah, and foosball. Foosball. And stuff. We got real cheap. So we're gonna go in and see. I don't know. We'll see. We'll try this one, and then we'll try the one by us too. So I don't know. Let's just go see what that idea. Believe for the best. We'll believe for the best. <laughs> we had to exchange a oh card for a car. I just had to rip through four, four cards to find one that rolled good. <laughs> Hold on one second. What is that? Greg is amused. He's like, where's all these deals? Know, <laughs> like, there's not very many deals here. All right, like some bowls. It's fall, y'all. Farm Fresh Christmas trees. That's kind of cool. I said that's kind of neat. Oh, here's the elf on a shelf. Oh, cereal. Some throws. Shop. We found a deal right here. Eight dollars. Look at it. Like so fun. The boys. Elmer's build the tools. Comes with screws, the screwdriver for them, and all the tools. Look at that. Like hinges for doors and yeah, stuff. It's kind of neat versus like you know real screws that cost a lot of money. Well, the, they, they usually use like duct tape and stuff. Yeah. To put them together. Why'd you get two of them? Yeah, that would be really cool. Could be like a. Like there's only that. two there. Look at that. There's a deal. Good deal, babe. These are cute little containers. You can give your kitty cat like a whole holiday dinner. Interesting. Hanging for a dollar. I'm gonna see if this is on sale. I doubt it is, but we don't have life and that would be fun. Sorry, next thing I bought you. I'll get that for. Her other one's way too big. Lots of inserts. We got a denim tree skirt. That's cute. Christmas advent wreath. Little Pioneer Woman stocking. Random things. Alright, big wall things. They'd be $2.50. Oh, mm -hmm. that's kind of neat. You can just stick them on the wall. They're cute. Look at They'd only be like a buck. I just don't have any walls to put it on, but that's really neat. That's a good idea. Oh, like yeah, a little store thing. Pioneer Woman. That's her dog. Centos for 50% off. That's cute. Show it to the world. All right, Greg's calling the Christmas tree decoration because I want to do some. I like like what we have with the whole gingerbread kind of thing. I and mean, I was gonna do popcorn, but I not feel the popcorn. But maybe a little bow tie would be cute. That let's really let's spend the, how many 20, 30 bows not enough that's probably enough for the front right you think two four six we have one more hey i think that's plenty of bowls because i'll do some more gingerbread and stuff okay. holiday to a tray for seven dollars do i do it i don't know i think greg's trying to say honey buy me this truck hey, look at the look at the grills <laughs> it's a grill it's all glitter full of bling baby. grab <laughs> grab it up <laughs> okay oh, we're picking up ornaments hey, for the tree next to for the kitchen present get stuff down here Got some nice signs. It's 
broken. The Grinch pops out. I wonder if I can get this green for Brooklyn's tree. She's got green going on downstairs. No, it's too broken, that's why it's here. Season's greetings. Merry Christmas. Oh, flingies. Not too bad, we got some stuff. Hmm. Right now we're to the food section, see if they got anything. Dumb dumb candy canes. Dumb dumb candy canes. What would that be on Dumb dumb candy canes. Merry Christmas. Okay. Extra, Extra long, long twizzlers. <laughs> Two dollars. Not two. <laughs> they love it. So is there summer sausage and clearance too? Interesting. So we spent 40 bucks in clearance stuff and then we spent extra on the other stuff. But it was 40 bucks for all the clearance. That's a good deal. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, the twizzles are like the twizz two feet long. I mean, that was worth the $40 <laughs> right there, people. <laughs> All right, now it's like 5,000 degrees and I need to turn my heat to air conditioning right now. So, not bad, just not finding, like I said, like I didn't even think there was no wrapping paper. You should find tons of wrapping paper. So we're gonna go ahead to the other stores here. Probably go to our town, maybe they have more that way. So we'll go see. Greg's already digging in the Swizzlers. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Swizzlers. Yeah. That's all good. All right, we're gonna go ahead to some more. Big win. Big win. <laughs> we're gonna go here once again because it's my favorite store. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Oh, good store. We're gonna go see, I don't know, maybe they'll have deals. Nothing. This has been a wash day on the whole clearance shopping so, day. But you, if you go back and look at our videos, remember we left here to go to the mall because this one was so, so picked. Over. It's really picked over. They haven't stocked it all yet. So, so what is what are we really after? Today? Nothing, honey. What, nothing, what's the main? Nothing focus? specific. It's but like is it all like Christmas. Like, it's uh, like you can buy wrapping paper for like fifty cents and, and be stuff? yeah. It's basically Christmas stuff you find. Okay. Where you can buy wrapping paper for like fifty cents and be all excited. I don't really need wrapping paper, <laughs> but <laughs> so that'd be Walmart probably. Yeah, well, our that other Walmart had none. So yeah. we're gonna where are we parking? Over to the left. Just kind of going around me here. So we'll see. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go head across. Steven, that little truck thing that uh, Greg picked out, that little red truck. He as soon as it, it came home, he's like, "Can I have this for my extra people?" And I was like, <laughs> "No, that's Dad's gift." <laughs> so if we could get him one, he could take out the Christmas tree. He'd be like, "Loving life." So we're gonna go uh, head across the street, just run there and see if they got it real quick, and then go to Walmart. I bet Probably, you Walmart. I bet you Walmart stuff. have the stuff. So yeah. let's run into Aldi and see if we can find a truck for Steven's. Action figures. <laughs> oh, we're coming. Oh, yes, they are. Look at Steven. It'll be five dollars. Happy, happy, joy, joy. So Greg, Greg can take. Oh, they're cars, not the truck. Do you think he'll really care though? Yeah, because you can't put your people in here. Oh, I see. Oh, well, why failure. Don't you, why don't you get that for me and then no. trade that out for the truck? Because it's a station wagon, baby. Do you want a station that, wagon? That's okay because it's got the trailer. <laughs> you know. So. Honey. I mean, holiday cookies for two fifty. You can't beat that. Seven. Mm, so good. Just gonna have to. All right, Greg's buying the mini pans. Remember, he loved these for the eggs and for a little ramen. He says. Yeah, like the, I think the Maddie. We're gonna get I Maddie. Could see him, I could use him that for. Mini I would use it too. Okay. I'll make eggs in there. All right, eleven dollars. The pan wasn't really on clearance. That was more of a, oh, a need. The five dollars were candles that were a need. Uh, five dollars. <laughs> five dollars was more of a need too, you know, because their candles are really good here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead to some more. Here we are. Sprinkles here. We'll get these for seventy-five cents. Good giant sprinkles right here. All the Pioneer Women scents. All right, let's see if they got anything here. This Walmart's pretty picked over too. Very much picked over. Some of these this year. A couple bucks. Yeah, what do you mean? Christmas cards? Nice. Look, they actually have a red mistletoe. How come they didn't sell us at Christmas? We used to have mistletoe. I don't have a ton of paper. Let's say happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. The birthday paper's in here. Oh, there's a bunch, baby. Get Maxina pet house. We found some. What a great thing. I one auto emergency hammer. It's one of those that you your car falls off the bridge, you can escape. Yeah, it's like, like a who, and there, glass breaker. Who really has to use one of those? You would really want this <laughs> if you went off the road and you were in how, the river upside down <laughs> in your car. I wonder, like, <gasps> give me that like five all, in one auto. Like hammer. all those things they taught you. What do you do when a when you fall into kicks quicksand? Okay. Whoever fell into quicksand. Okay, it has a, it has a safety hammer. It has a tire pressure gauge, mm -hmm. seatbelt seat cutter. cutter window breaker and an ice, ice scraper. scraper. Nice. And then these magnetic sculptures. Fun. Alright, there's our tiny little Walmart haul. 
sad. That's okay. I feel like we should throw up, like get an extension cord, cord, cord kind of for not, not the half price. All right, stretch wrap. This is to wrap your Christmas tree. Basically, it's like, okay, so is this cheaper than buying this or just using a big giant roll of plastic wrap? Is it much wider than plastic wrap? You can get the big giant roll though. That's we, interesting. We want to get one small one and then see what Harbor Freight has. Mm, no, we just go to Harbor Freight. I'm like, what'd you spend? Greg's like twelve dollars. He pulls out the Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> <laughs> that probably costs twelve. No, twelve dollars. Two little things. Not bad. No, the magnet. The magnet Possibly things will be fun. Kids are gonna like those. They are gonna like those. It's gonna be I good. Know. All right, so not bad. We finished up at Walmart. Twelve dollars there. Not nice. Two dollars for the Reese's. <laughs> Not bad. So we got some goodies today. We'll go home and show everything we got. We're going to head to Harbor Freight to get um, plastic wrap, like to wrap around the Christmas tree. Usually I just get saran wrap, like, you know, household kitchen wrap, and that works too, but it does, you gotta, it's a little more struggling. So I feel like the big giant car, I think it's called car wrap or packing wrap. Yeah, and it's got the dis dispenser Handles, built yeah. into it. Easy, easy to wrap around the tree. So we're gonna see. They had it there at Walmart, but it was like, I don't know, $30, and I feel like I can just... I feel like it's it, just, it was only like 15 inches wide, yeah. so it wasn't very wide. I feel like it's going to be cheaper. So we're going to go ahead to Harbor Freight right, right now, because I think our Christmas clearance shopping is finished. Ugh. And we weren't alone. There was another lady in there that was like, everything is gone. gone. Yeah, it's, it's like all so gone. so picked over. So I don't know, did they not obviously put that much stuff out this year, or did they hide it all the way because they're afraid for next year? Could be either one. So it's all good. We got some stuff. Yeah. We got some Christmas clearance to, to pack away. So yes, we got to spend the morning out shopping again yes. after that. So, okay, we're going to go ahead to Harbor Freight. And whatever else we want. <laughs> Tools. <laughs> Alright, I'm walking around the store like I know where anything is at. I don't. I looked online and they had it, so they've got to have it somewhere. Plastic wrap. We have a bunch of zip ties. I think we got a bunch of those. There's Greg. He's got some tools in his hands. Uh, no plastic. There it is. Stitch wrap. $28. So that's not bad. I mean, it's the same price as Walmart, but it'll work for a Christmas tree. Okay, I'm home now. God, home, I'm tired. It's like, I think it's like 1.30, 2 o'clock. We got some lunch and then home. I'm like, all right. I'm like, what else do I have to do today? We stopped at the post office and got some stuff. And this is what I end up with my clearance after Christmas clearance haul. So not as much. I usually find a whole lot more deals, but I feel like, hey, it is what it is. Let me show you what I got. So this is it right here. Let's see Maxine's like, let's see if she knows. What's this Maxine? Look at Oh, she's like, I know that's mine. Let me take that tag off. All right, hedgehog mixing. Over there. She's like, ooh, I'll take it. <laughs> she's gonna have hedgehog demand this couch. So what did we end up with? Got these, these were, everything was half price. We'll use these for something. I This actually, this wasn't on sale, but I got this to hang something up. Got this, was not on sale. These were on sale. These are just cute little ornaments for the tree. So for next year, different random ones. And then these bows. I wonder what that'll look like on the tree. We'll have to see apron there we got a few things of christmas lights not very money the clear wrap candles there is another one somewhere i got a oh it's on the table cinnamon one so i got that next thing's like i got my hedgehog that's all you wanted was something tiny didn't you she's like i'm just gonna lay right here in the middle all right this 250 that's cute this will be cute this will be for my hot cocoa center i think that'll be nice having the two trays like that this i thought would be really pretty hanging up sprinkles this was not on clearance it was regular price eight dollars but i know my boys will use it because they create everything with cardboard so i'm just gonna take this to the shop and we got this for jensen and autumn they like that it's like two bucks like since let me smell everything so that was it that was my christmas after christmas clearance haul and i picked up this this was thirty dollars not on clearance but that's gonna be to wrap the christmas tree here Probably tomorrow, maybe the next day, we'll see. All right, so I'm coming outside here because my kids are all in there awake and moving. And I got two big red containers as well. So that'll be for storage, they weren't on sale. But that was just my tiny little Christmas, <laughs> after Christmas clearance haul. Definitely, like Greg and I were saying, it's probably be either, it, there's like probably what stores have sh like slow supply, right? So usually they don't hold on to, well, normally they have a regular abundance of supplies. So the Christmas stuff, they don't want to hold it anywhere. So they'll just sell it because it takes up space, right? But now that there's, since there's a shortage of stuff, they probably are like, hold on to that for next year. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, we ended up with some stuff. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's video and the things I found. I don't know, maybe as your stores have way better things than mine did, because mine had none, where normally there's a lot. So I don't know, maybe, who knows, but it's okay. We found some things, it was a good day out, it was a good morning out. Come home, it's beautiful out. It's another probably 65 degree day, I'm gonna say, something like that. I should check the breakfast weather station. <laughs> so, good day, remember, remember what we're gonna learn. I need to like fan my flame, because I feel like um my flame is starting to get tired and it's only like. 
like two o'clock. <laughs> so I'm gonna go fan my flame, see what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I gotta edit. I don't know what else we'll do today. I'll film if we do anything exciting. I know we're not. It's gonna be cleaning dishes and laundry, which is not very exciting. But I'll be back tomorrow with doing some kind of motivation around my household. So I thank you guys for watching and you guys have a fantastic, I'm talking fantastic rest of your day. Remember that you are designed and created for greatness and God has not given you a spirit of fear. He's given you one of power, love, and a sound mind. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.